Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Another entry for the fish room files for you today. I'm going to talk a little bit about feeding. Now, while I sell my own food on my website, aquariumadventures.co.uk, if you want to go and look and browse at that kind of stuff, I'm going to be talking about someone else's food. I'm going to talk about Pleco Pops. Um, this is from In The Bag, Tropical Fish Keeping UK. Um, she sent me this a while ago, Lou, from In The Bag. Um, and I've been using it quietly. I keep thinking, oh, I must make a video about this. This is really good. It's very similar to Rapache in that you have to make it up. It comes in powder form. You make it up and then you can keep it in the fridge for a couple of weeks and it feeds everything. But the fish go mad for it. They love it. It's great. And it's a very economical way of feeding your fish as well because this little pouch here makes near, nearly a kilo worth of food at the end of the day. Super high in protein, super um, natural. That's the main thing. There's no additives, there's no fillers. Really good stuff. She sent me a couple of the ones, one of the algae wafers one and the cricky dough. This is the one, the one that I'm using at the moment is the cricky dough. It's made from the crickets, basically. 60% crickets, 20% daphnia. Some black shoulder fly uh, chips. Some vegetable stock, seaweed, spirulina, cocoa powder, etc, etc. All natural stuff, all good, and the fish like it. You can't ask for more than that in a fish food. The way you make it up basically is a teaspoon of the powder uh, to kind of 50 grams of boiling water. Uh, but it does say on the back of the packet, it depends how big your teaspoons are. So I use this little pot as my making up bowl, which takes about 200 uh, millilitres of boiling-ish water here, which means I'm going to go for about four teaspoons full of the powder. And basically, you just mix. Uh, you can give yourself options here, which is quite a good thing. So, depending how thick you want it, you can add less water or more powder. If you want it to go a bit further, do the opposite. But it's you're making a slurry here. But the good thing about this one, specifically the cricky dough one, is it's a bit of a it's very bitty. So it's not just like a smooth paste that you get in here. So when the fish do start attacking it bits come off and float around, which is like a little bit of enrichment for the fish almost, um, rather than it just being something that they is very plain and just breaks down and turns to dust in the water, so the tangible bits float around. Um, I have been making it a little bit thicker because I think that goes, um, it causes a little bit less dirt in the water. Um, sticks together a little bit better, obviously won't go quite as far. Um, but I've just made up a batch that was really runny, and then this batch here, which will be a bit thicker. But as you can see, you're kind of going for a slurry, a slurry consistency. Um, but I don't know whether you can see in there, there's all those delicious looking bits. Um, yeah, so just stir this, keep it going, get to the consistency you, you want. So it might be worth trying some smaller batches first off just to see what works for you before you commit to the bigger bigger batches it's still quite a small batch um, and then you know what consistency will work for you and what you're trying to do and then you put it aside let it cool down kind of 15-20 minutes I'm going to put it in my fridge down here and let it cool down that way it'll solid up sol solidify up into nice little springy gel food and then you're ready to use it in the bag has a website you can go and check out all their wares. They they sell fish uh, through there. They're specialists in like plecos and that kind of thing. Um, there's a video on my channel you can go back and watch one of the live streams we had Lou from in the bag on as a guest on the live stream to talk about what she does. But yeah, they've got fish, they've got plants, they've got food. The pleco pops there are three different varieties I think at the moment. This is the cricky dough one. There's a general grazer and an algae grazer. I think they're about ten pound a pouch. Uh, the pouches make up to 800 grams, um, depending on how you go. And yeah, it's just a very high quality food, which hopefully you get a chance to try out. Right, let's stick it in the fridge. 15, 20 minutes later, you get something like this. You just take a knife, slice it up into cubes, whatever you want to do. And then I just keep this in the fridge for a few days get through it quite easily because I've got a lot of fish but I think it lasts for a few weeks and while it's great for Corey's little cichlids all that kind of thing all my fish love it 
as you can see by them all chasing it around in this tank. Not only is it good for the smaller fishies, a few chunks go down well in mega tank. And what I like about it is the big fish will just take entire chunks, whereas in the process of taking entire chunks, little bits break off and the little smaller fish can get in there and get some of them. So it looks a bit messy, but it soon clears up and gets gobbled up. So there you go, just a quick one on fish food. Like I said, if you want to try Clicko Pops, go and check out In The Bag, Tropical Fish Keeping UK. I think it's just UK only, so um, you might have to find another alternative. But yeah, it's a great alternative to Rapashi, which is getting harder and harder to find over here. And all the fish love it. So, if you want my fish food, aquariumadventures.co.uk. If you want Clicko Pops, go and check out the links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Wait, 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 wait. Editor Graham here. Just wanted to take a second to remind you that we're currently pushing the charity calendar. This is a calendar full of fishy pictures that I've taken and some of the subscribers have taken. We've collated all the pictures together, covering the whole of 2024, and put it into a calendar format. You can buy a physical copy or a digital copy if you don't live inside the UK, and all the proceeds are going to go to charity. This year, the charities are two of them. We've got the Freshwater Life Project, and we've got the Amazon Research Centre for ornamental fishies. Both do really good things for fish keeping. I will leave a link down in the description to the video covering the calendar release so you can learn a little bit more about them and there'll be links to those projects in that video as well. And if you're not interested in the calendar but you do support these excellent causes and you want to donate there will be a link to a GoFundMe down there as well where you can do that. Physical calendar is on pre-order now. We're hoping to start shipping that probably early December so you'll get it in time for Christmas. The price covers free shipping to anywhere in the UK if you are not in the UK and you want to please get in touch using one of the links down below and we'll discuss some shipping prices or you can get the digital version which you can download straight away after purchase and then take it to your local print shop or something and get it printed yourself into a calendar. Calendar is excellent if I do say so myself so hopefully you will get some use out of it. Um, links as I say down in the description, excellent causes, well worth supporting, uh, thank you for your time.